Happy Tuesday, Ori. Hi. You missed it. There you go. Yum, yum. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. So while that was Ori, and Ori's always here and adorable, the real point of this video is to show you guys how to give your baby bearded dragon a bath. And subsequently, this is Kepler's very first bath ever. Are you excited, Kepler? Hi. Okay, first we have to get stuff ready for the bath. This may be a bit overkill, but some things you desperately need is something for your beardy to hold on to because the sink is slippery and that will freak him out. Uh, and another towel to take him out and dry him. I have a thermometer probe that I'm going to put in the sink and so I can keep track of the temperature. I also have some prime to take out the uh, chlorine. It's a conditioner dechlorinator. You don't have to use prime, but I have really heavy water, so I think I'm going to. I have cleaned my sink, and I'm going to fill it with water that is a little warmer than people think it should be. Um, probably somewhere in the 80s, upper 80s, low 90s, but no warmer than that because you don't want to be too hot, and you don't want to be too cold. Okay, so we have it around 90. Think about their basking spot and how hot that is. You don't want it that hot, obviously, but they can handle a little bit of temperature, and they like it. They don't really like super cold water. Also, because they're baby and he's small, you do not want it that deep. You want it just to their elbows, and I think that might be deep enough. So now we're going to go get Kepler. Come on, babe. Come on, doll. You're going to freak out, aren't you? Yes, you are. It's okay. It's okay. I got all your feet. Okay, we're going to put you gently in the bathtub. You want to see your tail? Look, it's water. Yay. Hey. Thrup. What do you think? Oh, oh. What do you think? You having trouble moving? Is it because of that hole right there? Look, you're in water. What do you think? So, um, because you're bathing him and uh you don't you don't have to worry about it, you can put some water on his back. You know. Sometimes they'll drink. There is a myth, uh, that's still not really it's confusing. But a lot of people think that they will soak up water from their vent or their behind area. And that, I still don't believe, is true. There's not scientific evidence to support it. Actually, there's scientific evidence to, against it. Um, so the only way they can get hydration from this is if they physically drink the water. And sometimes they will. Are you okay? What's your mom? What's your matter? Um, but... Uh, you don't have to give your beardy a bath like every week or anything. They're desert animals. They don't need that. Just make sure you give them hydration through their food that they eat and through maybe a water bowl or something like that. So you can see he's not freaking out. If if he was colder, he might have been. But uh, he's having some... Oh, hey, are you going to bite me? Don't bite me. It's mean. Biting is bad. He's, he is a little nervous, but anyway, we're going to let him sit there for, uh, ten, well, maybe about five minutes since it is his first time. I don't want to uber stress him. And then I'll take him out and dry him. It's important to keep an eye on the temperature because if it gets cold, your beardy can get chilled and that's not really good for them. So as you can see, it's dropped quite a bit. I also realized I failed to put prime in the water. You can or cannot do this. Some people say it's healthier. Um, I think it's okay. Uh, oops. <laughs> also, it is super important never to leave your beardy unsupervised, especially if they're big enough to jump. 
and uh, you don't want any accidents to happen. Just like you wouldn't leave a child unsupervised in a swimming pool, you would not leave a bearded dragon unsupervised in a sink. You ready to come out now, bud? Oops, are you ready? Ready to come out? <laughs> okay, we'll get you out. Take special care when taking your bearded dragon out of the bath that he's not struggling or freaking out. Go ahead and put him on a towel. I personally like to make sure his toes and legs and all are comfy before wrapping the towel up. I don't think Kepler is really into this whole being wrapped up thing. Most bearded dragons, once you wrap them up, are pretty chill and calm. What do you think of your first bath, Kepi? What do you think? You still processing all that water and stuff? Whoop, it's a camera. Oh, are you puffing at me? Are you drinking the water on your face? Anyway, keep them dry. You let them dry off before you put them back in their tank. And I hope this was helpful. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. That would help me out. I'm still working on making this channel a lot better. <laughs> okay, fine. You want out? Come on. And, um... Hopefully there will be a lot more firsts for Kepler here. And have a wonderful Tuesday. <laughs> you can't run on the... Okay, there you go. Say bye. Say bye. Bye. Yeah. I failed to mention a couple of things. You just washed a reptile in your sink. So you're going to want to clean your sink. I would also just like to mention a couple of reasons why you would want to wash your beauty. If they're having trouble pooping, if they haven't pooped in a while, and you know they need to, sometimes washing them or giving them a bath can stimulate that. You don't want to do it all the time, just, just in kind of an emergency. Also, if they're shedding, like Kepler was doing a couple of days ago, you might want to soak them, give them a little soak in warm water to help with the shed. Also, if they like to be in the water, some beardies do, some beardies swim. Some beardies like to drink in the water, so that's a good thing too. Um, and if they get poop on them or they start smelling funny, like Kepler did, um, you can give them a bath. Anyway, that is it. Have a wonderful day. Bye, Kepler. You're not even looking at us. Bye.